Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Grace Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Today's beer comes from J. Wakefield Brewing. These guys are out of Miami, Florida. Uh, sunshine, sunshine State. Uh, this is an 8.6% uh, double IPA. Uh, Untap says it's a New England style. Beer Advocate doesn't even have it listed. So it's probably a new release and nobody's commented on that site, imagine that. Uh, because only 246 people have commented. Only 246 people have commented on uh, Untapped. Says here, beads and bling is all you need during parade season. This big double dry hop, double IPA was generously dry hop with loads of Cryo, Bravo, Cryo, Calypso, Sabro, Vic Secret, and Hallertau Blanc hops. So, a lot of hops in this beer, guys, and it was double dry hopped on top of that. So, uh, and the Big Secret Southern Hemisphere Hop should get some good spicy notes from that. Plain Jane Silver Can. And on the bottom it says here, show me something. 021921. So February 19th of 21 is what it's put in the can. So let's get it popped open and get it into the glass. <coughs> A little cloudy hazy, but there may be some settling that's gone on in it since it's been in here in the can since February. So let's increase that head factor and do that little swirly swirl. And that should really kick. Why is this thing dripping? Should increase that head factor tenfold. And it did. I don't know why this thing's dripping. Anyway, about two fingers of head on that pour. That's a good looking beer. There are some floaties coming out of it, so there was some settling going on in it, evidently, because there is some chunkiness uh, floating around in the beer. I can see light through the thin part of the glass here on the bottom, so. Uh, doesn't, not to the orange juice style where it's cloudy all the way through. There is some light coming through the thin part of the glass. So, uh, in my opinion, close. But as the people in Florida say, Cigar City, no cigar. So, uh, it's close. I mean, it's close. Uh, it's not claiming to be a New England style on the can anywhere. People like Untapped and Bear Advocate, and uh, they want to throw that New England braves around very loosely. So maybe this is their attempt at it, guys. I don't have any idea. I don't think I've had anything from this brewery before. Nothing is standing out in my mind. So, looks good though. I mean, it's a good looking beer. To the nose we go. My citrusy notes. Uh, very subtle hints of pine. A little bit of grapefruit. I was expecting a whole lot more aroma from that many hops. Unless my nose is not working today. Maybe a hint of some oranges or tangerines. Not much. Well. That's what it is. Let's dive in. Cheers. I am giving the spicy notes from the Big Secret. Almost a peppery taste to it.
Yeah, it's not blowing my hair back on my socks off, guys. Alcohol is well hidden for an 8.6%. But with that many different hops, I was expecting being double dry hopped on top of that. I was expecting a lot more aroma and taste from this beer. A little disappointed right now, so. Not sure this would be on my shopping list again. A little swirly swirl. Let's get it into the glass. There's some big chunks coming out now. Big chunkiness. I mean, great big chunks. You can tell this is an unfiltered beer, or there's a whole lot of settling that's going on since it was put in in February, and we're in end of April here now, so almost at the end of a shelf life to me, guys, since it was put in here on February 19th, March 19th, well, yeah, two months, April 19th, um, so still got another three weeks or so, but still, uh, maybe just a little cloudier now that I've got all of it in there, so yeah, it definitely looks like orange juice in the glass now, with a whole lot of big chunks floating around in it, too, so, uh, Let's let it come up to room temperature, guys, and sip on it for a little bit and see what we end up with. So I don't want to mealy mouth the beard. Live will come, live to be a 10 by the time I get to the end of it. Kind of doubt it, but we shall see. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I've been sipping on it for quite a while now. Tasty beer, but not something that I'm looking for. It's, to me, not that pleasant to drink. Uh, very disappointed with this. very bitter. It's very, very bitter. Would not buy this again. Bottle Coke. Well. I thought it was tastier cold than I did after it formed up here. Super bitter. I'm going to give this a B guys. 85. Uh, not impressed at all with this one. Like I said, if you're going to drink, if you're going to buy this, and drink it, drink it cold. Super cold. Because after it warms up, it's not very pleasant. Very bad aftertaste in my mouth. B, 85. And I'm giving it benefit of the doubt because it does have a canned on date on it and it has ABV on the label, but not pleasant. Not pleasant. Uh, Beer Advocate doesn't even have it listed, like I said earlier. Uh, probably a new offering from them. <coughs> uh, I'm not drink something else just to get the taste out of my mouth. That is not, uh, like I said, I could real easy give this a C. Uh, mm. Untapped has it a 3.71 which is in their B range also. Uh, it's what it is guys. I mean, I'm not holding anything back. I try to be as honest as I can with you guys. Uh, I thought it was a little tastier cold that I do now that it's warmed up to room temperature. The last little bit that I drank was a chore. So uh, that that hop combination did not work for me. You may love it. So uh, pick one up. If you can get your hands on it, try it. If you like it, buy more. I won't be buying more. So that being said, this is the beads and bling. Uh, <laughs> more beads than bling in my opinion from Jay Wakefield Brewing so if you've had it let me know what you think till we meet again let's go see what's in the fridge